Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm your trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of USD JPY, US dollar Japanese yen. So, if you're watching my videos for the first time, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel for regular market analysis and do not forget to check out the Forex Analysis playlist on my YouTube channel for the analysis of other currency pairs. So, let's get started. So, this is the four off chart of US dollar Japanese yen, and as we all know, USD JPY was in a very beautiful uptrend the chart was very beautiful and sweet it was following a trend line after that massive selling pressure came in the market and market fell sharply as expected market took support at 109.75 and if you have been watching my videos or if you have watched my previous video on usd jpy then you you remember this level very Correctly, because I explained about this level 109.75 in my videos earlier videos as the one of the most crucial price level in the chart of US dollar Japanese yen, and we can see that when USD JPY fell sharply, it was the price level that provided the support to the market because 109.75 level belongs to the weekly chart. In fact. In the month of uh, April, in the month of April, in the month of May, when I was doing analysis on USD JPY, then I clearly mentioned that this level is so important that it was acting as a resistance for the market for more than two months. This was acting as a resistance for the market more than two months. And when market broke the resistance successfully with lots and lots of hard work, this level started acting as a support for the market. And I told you that whenever market will be coming down, this level will provide the required support to the market. And we saw that as expected, 109.75 really, really provided support to the market. And if we look at the chart right now, that overall chart still seems bullish. There is no doubt that this market is bullish because see, this market is an uptrend still. The market is an uptrend. Yes, there was some selling pressure, but right now we can see that market is trying to recover. And if we look at this particular portion here, then we can see that market has almost recovered by 50%. Therefore, overall, the trend of the market is still towards the upside. But if we look at this trend line, okay, my dear friend, if you just look at the trend line, there is no doubt that it was a valid support for the market. But when the trend line broke, when the trend line broke, then you can see that this trend line, this support is, is acting as a resistance for the market. So the support is equal to the resistance. Now, in your charting platform, in your trading platform, you just draw this trend line in the 4 hours time frame and just extend the trend line till here. Okay. Then you can, then you will clearly see that this trend line is acting as a resistance for the market. Therefore, therefore, in this chart of US dollar Japanese yen, we have a support here, support in the form of 109.75. This support level belongs to the weekly chart. You can clearly check on the weekly chart. Okay. So we have a support here and we have a resistance here right now. And the resistance is the trend line and the moving average. This is the 50 moving average. Okay. So this trend line and the moving average is acting as a resistance for the market or will be acting as a resistance for the market and considering the present position of us dollar japanese yen you can see that um, the market has witnessed some price rejection from above market is trying to go down and the stochastic rsi is also indicating that price is in overbought zone so if we add up all these factors then the market seems to be in the right position to short the market. It's not. A, yes, market is in the right position or the best position to short the market. But before, before giving uh -huh, giving my opinion to short the market, I would like to show you one thing. And the thing is, uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, just go to the currency strength meter. Okay currencyquack.com slash daily okay this is the currency strength meter this is a free uh, free tool you can use it 
In the current state strength meter, you can see that Japanese yen is strong today. In comparison to US dollar, Japanese yen is in a better position. So, USD is weaker in comparison to Japanese yen. So, US dollar is weaker in comparison to Japanese yen. So, if we consider the strength of the currency, then then there is a possibility that though market is going down or though the market seems to be going down, market may reverse. Therefore, therefore, one thing is clear to us. We are getting the indication that or the chart is telling us that market is about to go down. But the currency, is, well, currency meter is telling that the market may reverse because US dollar is weaker in comparison to Japanese yen at least for the day. And if we go to the forex sentiment meter, uh, in my website uh, avilashajarika.com under forex 101 section you will find the forex sentiment meter in the forex sentiment meter also you can see that 72 percent traders have taken short position and 27 percent traders have taken long position and as we all know 90 percent retail traders or more than 90 percent retail traders always lose money this is a bitter fact of the market and Therefore, it is wise to always take a position against the retail traders. At least, I always try to take position against the retail trader. So, if nine, if this 72% people are going to lose money in this market, okay, then market will be going up. Because market always goes against the retail traders. Therefore, what do you think now? <laughs> See, retail traders have taken short position. Currency strength meter is telling us that Japanese yen is in a strong position in comparison to US dollar. Therefore, if we consider these two factors, then I'll say that just avoid USD JPY. There are other other beautiful opportunities in the market. If you are looking for a safe position in USD JPY chart, then I'll say that. The best position to go for any uh, to go for buy order in this chart is if you find USD JPY around this support level 109.75 level, and if you see market taking support or bouncing from this level, then this is the best position to grab. Okay. Otherwise, considering the strength of Japanese yen at least for today, this is not the ideal position to short term market. Yes. Market is in, uh, market is coming down from the resistance level, but overall trend of the market is towards the upside. Retail traders lose money; they have taken the opposite. Uh, they have taken short position, so things are not adding up. Okay, if we are when we are when we are um, considering the strength meter, strength of Japanese yen USD USD. When we are considering this uh, currency strength meter, then things are not adding up. Therefore. Therefore, there is a possibility in the market that market may reverse from this particular level. Once you short the market, market may reverse. So, if you do not want to take any risk, if you are looking for only safe, safe trading opportunities, then 109.75 is the only safe opportunity in the chart of US dollar Japanese yen. And if you want to take some risk, if you have, uh, if you have the uh, trading capacity to take some risk. <laughs> Then you can short the market here and just keep your stop loss above this trend line. That's it. That's it. Um, hopefully you have understood. If you have liked the video and found the video informative, give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. Thank you so much. All the best. Take care. See you tomorrow.